Hey friends, Patrick here from the .NET Web Academy and welcome to this little tutorial about casting your objects in particular when you are working with interfaces and then looking at the difference between a single cast, meaning casting a single object versus a collection or a list. For that, I created this little console application. It makes way more sense when you're using a clean architecture and a web app, for instance, where you have an interface on one place on one layer and then the actual implementation class maybe on the other layer because then you have to use the interface to make everything work. I'm looking at ASP.NET Core Identity, for instance, where you want to use a user object, but this is way too deep for now. In the Dungeon Web Academy, we do exactly that thing. But if you have trouble with casting objects using interfaces, just check this thing out here. Hey friends, real quick, when you check out the screen here, you see that only 25% of you are actually subscribed to my channel. And if you watched a couple of my videos and really learned something, then it would really mean the world to me if you could just hit the subscribe button. It is free, it would help me creating more and more videos like the one you're currently watching. So if you wanna learn something, support me for free, then please take the time, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And now let's continue with the tutorial. For instance, you can see that we have a character interface simply with an ID, a name, a level and a class type. And then the implementation class using this interface here again has ID, name, level, class type. Additionally, health and mana. And then we have a repository here where we are going to use a method and returning mock characters, dummy characters. For instance, getting a character, a single character by the ID works like that. And as you can see, we want to return the I character here. But what we do here is we create an actual instance of uh, the uh, character class. And then there's also the same thing, of course, with the list. But first, let's have a look at the single character. Now, as you can see here in the program CS, really simple and we have no dependency injection, nothing like that. In the repository, just saw that we want to call the get character by ID method. And then we just want to print this thing out. So if I run this on my other screen, you can see this here, we have the single character ID one, two, three, and so on. Great, this works. Now let's have a look at the list. When I now comment this back in here, you will directly see an error, right? First, it looks pretty similar to the single character function here. Get all characters, we have a artificial delay for the asynchronous stuff. And then we have characters, we wanna return or we want to use the character class here, but the actual signature of this whole method is a list of the I character interface. So what we're going to do is we create two characters and then we simply say, well, return these characters. It worked here, right? Why does it not work here? This is strange. And then with that, of course, we cannot use this here. We get the error. We cannot even build this and run this. Well, the thing is now, and maybe this is more of a beginner lecture, but still very important. If you want to do it like that, don't give up. You can still use your interface, but you just have to know that if you want to cast a single object, it can work implicitly, meaning that C -sharp .NET, you name it, knows already that you want to cast the a character into an I character works. But for a collection, it has no idea what to do here because we are expecting a list of the I character interface and we actually have a list of the characters. So you have to explicitly cast every single object into the I character interface. And how would we do that? Well, we use the select method of link. So dot and then or period and then select. And it looks almost like that. So we have select, then C for the character. But then what we want to do is we don't want to do anything with the ID. We actually just say that this thing now is an I character, right? Maybe to make it uh, a bit better to understand. So here now we have our character. So every single character in our characters list should be cast in, a, uh, in an I character. All right, and then afterwards we turn this into a list. Then you can see no error anymore. We can use it here as well. And when we run this now, we see on my other screen, we get all the other characters or a list of characters. And that's already it. So please remember, if you wanna use an interface 
or it doesn't have to be an interface. You want to make a cast and it works implicitly when you use a single object. Just make sure in a collection you have to cast this stuff explicitly, meaning you have to do this manually. All right, I hope you learned something, guys. If so, please don't forget to hit the like button. Maybe even subscribe. This would be really, really nice. Thank you very much. And maybe you want to check out the Dotnet Web Academy. We go way deep in there. So thank you for checking this out. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope I see you next time. Take care.